This is news.ph, but it's not politics as usual. I'm Pia Ontiveros. With us is Aika Robredo, daughter of Congresswoman and Vice Presidential Candidate Lenny Robredo, the late DILG Secretary, Jesse Robredo. Good evening, Aika. Thank you very much for being here. Good evening. Yeah. You have this big, wide smile on your face. <laughs> Parang wala kayong pinagdaanan. No, it's more of, ano, I think we've now accepted that Parang before the struggle was the decision. Because mm -hmm. it's something you have to, um, it's something na kailangan mong panindigan. Right. But right. now, I think, the decision namin, we see that my mother is at peace with it and we have now come to terms with it. Come so, to terms with it. Okay. So it is wrong to say that you feel like you're making a sacrifice all over again? Because if you say you've come to terms with it, this is no longer a sacrifice or what? Parang it's unfair kasi to say that it's only us who is making the sacrifice. Kasi mm -hmm. even before, parang, parang ngayon na we're all on board, Masyadong maraming ibang tao ang nagsasacrifice with us. Mm. When I say we've come to terms with it, it's something na buong-buong tinanggap namin na nandiyan na kami. Mm -hmm. um, sacrifice siya in the sense na alam namin kasama siya sa pagtanggap ng mom ko dun sa... Pag, pagtanggap ng mom ko dun sa hamon na tumakbo siya. Mm -hmm. But it, at the same time, kasama niya na kami dun. Okay. Can you describe in detail what those days of discernment <laughs> were like for you and uh, your mom. You meaning you and your sisters mm -hmm. and your mom. In detail, uh, because we already know now, okay, you came to terms with it mm -hmm. and you, have that, you had that official announcement. But you didn't really tell us what happened. Actually, now that I look back, it's sort of a blur. Mm -hmm. it, it was from one end of, a, of the spectrum to another. We started with a hard no. Mm -hmm. um, what was asked lang was, my mom was told to just, you know, be open, just to think about it. So, yung initial lang na sinabi niya sa amin was, you know, let's pray so we'll know what, mm -hmm. what you're meant to do, what, what the right decision is. Kasi tingin ko kasama dun, sabi natin, apprehensions aside, siguro kasama dun yung takot that you will make the wrong decision. Mm -hmm. So, many nights, until one, one night, my mom finally said na in my heart, I think, I feel that I'm being called to do this. But I won't do this without your blessing. Mm -hmm. So, parang when she said it at that time, parang kami hindi pa din. But there's this unsettling feeling na yun tanong namin is if my dad was still here, what would he have done? Mm -hmm. And parang sigurado kami na he would tell us to support my mom. He would have responded to the call. Yes. He would have said, "Yes, Lenny, run." And you, 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 you girls support her. Yes, he would have said to my, he would have told my mom na, um, yes, run. Wag mo talikuran yung mga humingi ng tulong sa yo. Mm -hmm. And kami as as his daughters, yes, support your mother. Parang mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's go back to yung sinabi mo na it uh, it was a hard no at at the beginning. Why was it a hard no for you? Ako personally, we all have our reasons. Mm -hmm. But personally, for me, my instinct was self preservation. I felt that um, feeling ko kasi if my dad was still here, it would have been uh, maybe an, a less difficult yes. Mm -hmm. Kasi uh, he would still have my mom at home, my partner pa siya. But now my mom is a single mom. Um, he looks after us. He looks after a lot of people. So siguro pag nawawalan ka na member of the family, your instinct is you want to look after each other and make sure they're okay. Mm -hmm. So yung feeling ko at the start was, um, nasa line of fire kami lahat, if she's yeah. gonna do this. Yeah. Oo. So parang ako, pwedeng wag na tayo-tayo na lang ulit. But self-preservation itself is not an entirely bad thing. I mean, like you said, no, you want to protect those that you love most in the world. Diba? It's true. But then in the end kasi, um, we've all realized that this is something that's there are more things important than our own preferences. Mm -hmm. Kasama dun yung instinct for self-preservation, I suppose. Um, siguro there's a responsibility that comes with also a being, that comes with being a daughter of my dad. Yung tingin namin, parang malaking bagay kasi isipin ko ano ba yung gagawin niya. Mm -hmm. Especially since we, we did not know at that time what is the right and the wrong decision for us. Mm -hmm. If your dad were alive, it might have been 
not just a Ross Robredo or maybe Balita, mm -hmm. Robredo Ross. <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, to, to be honest, parang mm -hmm. kahit malungkot na nawala siya, in a way, I've always felt na it was also his way of letting my mom be the person she was meant to be. So, et, pero lahat ito in hindsight na na, yeah. tapos na yung processing, para mga realization na siya na. Oo. Because when my dad was still alive, my mom was very content with her role of being the wife. Of being, uh, the one in the background. The, the one no? in the background. Oh. Because Parang, she had her own career. It's yeah. just that she wasn't in, in the front lines. Saka siya yung pinaka-support system namin lahat. So mm. now that my dad is not here anymore, parang kasama siguro sa, I guess, blessing and at the same time, cruise ng buhay ng mom ko is that, she was the wife of my dad, and mm -hmm. that she also had responsibilities to address. Meron din siyang mga tawag na kailangan pakinggan. Mm -hmm. So in the way, thinking ko, this is my dad's way of letting her be the person she was meant to be. Mm -hmm. Do you think that this is also how things were really just meant to be? I way, mean, wherever you are in your life, you suddenly realize, there's that realization na, Things are exactly as they were meant to be. Totoo yun. And my dad would always say, especially dati nung mga, yung fresh graduate pa lang ako, na parang, what am I doing here? Why am I doing this? Mm -hmm. He would always say na, the dots would lead you to where you're exactly meant to be. There are some things na siguro hindi mo niintindihan at that time, but it mm -hmm. will eventually make sense later on. Mm -hmm. Okay. So those days of discernment, I suppose, like, like you said, no, from one end of the spectrum to the other, I suppose there was like a roller coaster of emotions for all of you, even for your younger sisters, diba? Right? Um, do you, like, Kanina, I, I understand when you say it, it was a blur, no? When you go through something very emotional, after a while you can't remember what was it I went through, parang ganon. But now, on hindsight, what were those, what were all those emotions? Parang the closest I could think of was, um, it felt like my dad's plane was missing again. Na parang there was mm -hmm. this bad news that we were just waiting for it to happen. Mm -hmm. Na the long wait between um, the, the plane the crash and the yeah, uncertainty, the uncertainty of what's gonna happen. Uh -huh. Feeling ko more than anything, it was the uncertainty that was settling. Mm -hmm. And siguro the difference is, parang three years ago, back then, we didn't really have a choice. Mm -hmm. And ngayon parang yung burden of choice na sa amin. Yeah. And it's oh, you, 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 you had the opportunity to say no. To uh -oh. say no. Yeah. But then again, parang mahirap din na hindi ka at peace. Parang when my dad died, we were all very sad. It was all very tragic. Mm -hmm. But in a way, there's peacefulness in knowing na siguro he left at the time that was right for him. Mm -hmm. The the but problem with the yes and mm -hmm. he. Kumbaga, ito sa, ito sa good exit for him. Mm -hmm. And ngayon, parang, if you make the wrong decision, it is something you will forever think about later on. Na, did mm -hmm. they make the right decision? Did they make the wrong decision? And my mom naman, parang, we know that we're, we know that we're her priority. But at the same time, as children, parang hindi rin namin kaya na, hindi rin siya at peace, just mm -hmm. because sinabi namin na, don't do it. Mm -hmm. So parang, we feel na, part of, Kumbaga, one way of showing her that we love her is supporting her also and supporting her decision dun sa kung saan yung pinaha mga panatag siya. Mm -hmm. When you say it felt like your dad's plane was missing all over again, um, when you're waiting for news kasi no, about uh, a loved one, mm -hmm. there is that feeling na parang, alam mo yung parang umaatras ka kasi you're trying to push it away. That's true. Parang ganun din ngayon, yung mm -hmm. parang, nako, ito na, my mom's going to decide and I don't want this. <laughs> Ganon, was, that, was, it, was it like that? Yeah, and pati yung mga lumalabas pinsan sa news na parang parati kami, oh, sabi sa, sabi sa ganito, tatakbo ka na raw. Mm -hmm. And it was, it, was, it was the same back then na para every phone call, you would always think na, is this the, you know, will this be the moment na malalaman mo na kung nahanap siya or hindi pa rin mm -hmm. siya nahanap, parang ganon. Yung uncertainty, but ito medyo matagal. I think ito mga maybe, maybe two, more or less two weeks. Mm -hmm. Okay. And all this time, you know, all the two weeks, you were at work at the NDRMC. So you had, you had to be, you had to put up a brave front. You had to continue working as if everything was okay. Ganun ba yun? Yes, or and would you still had exams. Si <laughs> the, the, youngest, youngest. the youngest. The youngest. Exams. Yeah. Nako. Okay. That's why, yeah. I know, I think people also think that it's something we talk about all the time at home. Mm. Pero siguro dun sa two weeks na yun, we've only talked about it maybe twice or thrice. Mm -hmm. um, the, the last one was when he finally gave my mom the go signal. The second yeah. one was when she told us, na, you know, I think 
Yeah. I think I'm being called to do this, and then walanda naman ceasefire. Yeah. Okay. Cease so it wasn't like you were consumed with this yeah. thing because I mean, after all, you had you, you have a family life. You need to go to the groceries. You need to go to school. You need to go to work. I, I get. I guess you were still able to go watch a movie or. I mean, did you try and keep things normal? Were, were things normal? What, what were you of doing? Of course, especially for oh. the youngest. Yeah. It was as if tapusin mo na muna exam, so we'll just yeah. deal with it. I think we all had our own way of dealing with it. Mm -hmm. um, even even when my parang we're not the type of family kasi na magmumukmuk and then sabay kami yeah. iyak and then, oh. parang we we all had our own ways of coping. Mm -hmm. But the priority then was to make sure my my youngest sister finished her exams. Mm -hmm. But all the, the three conversations that we have, especially the second one, it was all very emotional and draining talaga. Because mm -hmm. like, you all know that your decision is always based on, on love for each other, but you don't know which decision is the better one. Mm -hmm. But now you feel we all you made feel the right that, decision. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Pero it's something we will know later on. Hopefully. But you still have the face of your face. Yes, yes. So it was like, nasa you know, there's the, this old song, Sangandaan eh. Oh, yun, yun, yun. Yun, nasa yun. Sangandaan kayo. And you felt that when you crossed that intersection, you went on the right path. When did you recall the first time someone from the campaign spoke to your mom about running for vice president? And who was that person who spoke to your mom? Officially, I think it was offered to her during Peña Francia Fiesta, yata, mm -hmm. eh. kay, kay si Secretary Marlon. Officially. Siya. So, officially, unofficially? Unofficially, I don't know who talked to her directly, but I think the first person who mentioned it was, I'm not very sure, I think mm -hmm. si Senator Osmeña. Parang free note niya. I think I think he mentioned my mom somewhere. Mm -hmm. Pero parang at that time, kasi we felt it was a joke. Eh, na parang oh, nabanggit ka, magbiti ka raw. Parang oh, for us, it so was... So joke, as in, natawa na lang kayo, gano'n. Oh, pero parang, parang at the same ano, time, but... sabi ko, hindi mangyayari yan. Ah. Because initially, we all thought that after her first term as congressman, congresswoman, mm -hmm. she will stop na. Parang mm -hmm. when she ran back in 2013, she was mm -hmm. telling us na, you know, transition lang to... I'm just addressing an internal local party problem, and then after this, tapos na. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then <laughs> again, palagi, no? yeah, towards oh. the end of ano, parang mm. nung maybe early 2015. Mm. I think even my sisters felt na parang mm. sige, feeling namin magri election pa to. I think my younger sister was telling her na, basta sana this time around you don't tell us hours before you file. Parang mm. tell us naman days before or a week before what you intend to do. Hindi tulad the last time. Mm, okay, okay. Uh, a campaign is always life-changing, mm -hmm. diba? And uh, so, I, I'm sure you guys have, have determined how it's going to be life-changing for you uh, and your sisters. Mm -hmm. well, how is it for, going to change? For starters, um, I'm, I'm resigning from work. Mm -hmm. Actually, yung, yung position ko naman kasi sa OCD, Office of Civil Defense, it's really co turbulence with the administration. So, parang napaagal lang siya by a couple of months. Mm -hmm. The youngest sister... So, wait. So, you, you resign from work and then you'll be with I'll the campaign? I'll be full-time with the full campaign. Time. What exactly? What will your exact role be? I'll be one of the head of the, of the, of the volunteers. Mm -hmm. And I think on some occasions, I'll be asked to represent my mom if she's not available. Mm -hmm. um, si Trisha naman, the second one, we're still mm -hmm. discussing if... She's, she's telling taking us, medicine, di ba? Oh, she, oh. She's telling us that she's thinking of taking a leave of absence. Nako. It's oh. something we haven't really settled yet. Mm -hmm. Parang we, we would like to discourage... I think my mom and I are one in discouraging her, but at the end of the day, it's really, it's really her decision. Mm -hmm. But in the event that the LOA niya, she'll be joining the youth group who'll mm -hmm. be going around. The youngest is really good. The youngest parang as high is... High school, no? High school. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she needs to finish high school and then college. How will you? How are you going to try and make everything, keep everything normal for her, for the youngest, for the youngest, for you, for all of you? Family life, no? What's it going to be like? Your mom's on the campaign trail, so what? You'll see each other. I mean, unless like, yeah, you'll be on the campaign team also, but there may, may be times you're not even going to be with your mom. Mm -hmm. So, I think you um, in the, our initial discussion, I said there should, there should always be a family mm -hmm. member with with Jillian at any at any time, mm -hmm. at least make a sama sama tulog and have dinner at night. But I would think na yung Sunday rule namin of of being together. Mm -hmm. So far, yun yung yun ay kita ng 
day na magkakasama ulit kami ng apat. But during the week, I'm really not sure yet how it's gonna go. Yeah, oo. Okay. But we're, paano yung focus namin in terms of normas is really the youngest. Mm -hmm. Para no distractions, kasi yeah. may school, may tests, may ganun. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have, uh, you have dinner, family dinners. On, on Sunday, what do you do? On a regular Sunday. <laughs> There's a <any> regular Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> parang, oh. <laughs> parang at least lately, mm -hmm. Mas ano lang siya eh. we, we eat out, we, mm -hmm. we visit my cousins, we visit my cousins and her kids. Parang mm -hmm. yun na usual na, basically, we, we don't do anything on Sunday. Okay. We, we just really oh. eat out, we go yeah. to church, and then, parang pahinga, day. Oh. Minsan we what, go to the grocery. Yeah. Grocery. Yeah. I would ask you what grocery, baka punta kayo <laughs> what, what, I mean, are there family hobbies, you know, your mom and, and your sisters and you, are, are there things you like to do? together? Well, we like to eat together. Apart from the eating. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we watch a movie, pero mm. medyo may pagka-homebody kasi yung parents ko. Mm, so you like to cocoon in the house. Uh, oh, oh, just, yun parang even, oh. even before all this, ano, all this mm. VP and dati may Senate talk pa, parang at, at night, we just stay in the living room para my sisters would be doing their assignments and then mm. my mom would be working on a speech or uh, studying a bill or something. Mm -hmm. Parang kahit wala kami ginagawa exactly, we're, we're just really just together, together in the same room. Mm -hmm. And yung Sundays, it's not really something na, okay, let's do this. We plan, parang, let's plan on what mm -hmm. to do on Sunday. It's just something na, sige, kain na lang tayo, and then let's go to, let's go to your cousins, and then we mm -hmm. go home. Mm -hmm. Parang okay. yung pinaka-bonding namin is just really... Being together. Na, yeah, being yeah, together. Okay. But you, you mentioned the movie. What is the last movie you saw? I don't <laughs> remember. <laughs> it's a... So you, oh. The, the four of us na complete. Parang oh. I think I watched a movie. It was some, ano, it was some Tagalog romantic movie. I can't remember. I can't remember. We okay. intended to watch Henry Luna, oh. but we ended up watching separately. Ah, okay, But the last okay. movie together, I can't actually. remember. Okay. Um, uh, how else is life going to, you know, so, sometimes you have to consider if she does win, what next? We're not really there. <laughs> You're not really there. It's something yet. we haven't really hoping, talked about. Okay, yet. are you hoping she wins or are you hoping that maybe she won't win? Or, you know, para we can all go back. Because you're there, you're going to support her for the campaign, you know. No, but what if by some miracle she does win? Or but before, I didn't want her to mm. run, but now she's running. Of course, I want her to win. Yeah. But you don't go into something that you're uh, hoping, hoping that you lose. Right? Mm. Okay. We, parang how are things going to change after? Hopefully minimal. Mm -hmm. It's something we haven't really talked about. Kasi yeah. parang since the day na she declared, parang ang bilis-bilis na ng araw up to this point. Na yeah. We haven't really found the time to sit down and talk about what's going to happen and, and process, next you know? year. Yeah. Do you mind very much the intrusion? I mean, the media, people asking for interviews, uh, <laughs> guestings, and then I'm sure you get stopped on the streets. Or your, you know, I, mean. I think naman when we... When we gave our consent to our mom, we all accepted that this is going to be part of what mm -hmm. we're saying yes to. Mm -hmm. Na medyo makulit, medyo siguro yung sa social media na, you know, sometimes may mga itatag ka na ayaw mo naman makita na, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Parang when you say yes to something, you accept na kasama, kasama yun. Everything. Na, yeah, you accept everything mm -hmm. that's okay. good. But you're not, I'm so, I suppose you're not really worried na titirahin siya first. Because, I mean, kumbaga, Ano kayang pwedeng Ano kayang pwedeng black prop ang gawin kay Lenny Robredo? Have you thought about that now? Well, meron na lately actually. I've oh. seen before na parang she didn't say something ah, that was put on a they, picture. Someone put words parang, in her mouth. Ganon. Ganon. Oh. Although, to be honest, parang I'm not as bothered as I expected myself to be. Yeah, yeah oh. you can't get bothered by every little thing in the campaign, no? Pero parang tingin ko kasi kasama na yun of being part of the of the campaign also. Mm -hmm. So pati yung mga kapatid ko every now and then, you just have to remind them na ganun talaga, kasama talaga. Because they're younger and they probably understand a bit less. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Alright. Uh, uh, I, I was asking around, no, what, what, what are, ano ba yung mga trivia about Aiko Robredo? And somebody said, she's a Blue Eagles fan. <laughs> <laughs> how how no. diehard a fan are you? No, uh, especially before. That I used to watch all the games. Oh, okay. But when they transferred... That nung, that meaning, Me? nung nananalo pang Ateneo, ng championship. Or oh, even before they started <laughs> winning, I was watching. Oh. <laughs> Parang the lesson lang yung attendance mm. ko when they moved mm. to Moab because it's a bit far. Mm, okay. Um, 
it's one of ano kasi, it, it's one of the things I had in common with my dad also. Parang mm-hmm. we were all basketball fans, and then eventually yung mga kapatid ko. And the youngest, as early as now, I'm trying mm-hmm. to brainwash her also <laughs> to watch basketball games with uh-huh. us. Mm-hmm. Other trivia, I don't know. I I play the piano. I play classical piano. Wow. Okay. Although tingko kasi y- yung mga magula ko before growing mm-hmm. up. Parang they all require us. You have to be good in one instrument. You have mm. to be good in a sport. Mm, okay. So, so your sport was what? Table tennis. Table. I, I thought you were going to say basketball. No. <laughs> no, no. And then see, si, si, um, Tr- Trisha. The... See si Trisha. At some point, we all went through swimming. Yung dalawa mm. mas matagal na competitive swimming din. Okay. Okay. So no, yun, yun lang. The two, sport. the two others. Ano also, instrument that they played? The second one, piano. Then parang kami. The youngest okay. is mas guitar. Ah. Okay. Okay. You don't mind all these questions, right? <laughs> okay. Um, final words. Uh, what would you like to share with people who are listening to you now? Um, siguro the, the, you know, I think people have the impression that my family and my mom especially got pressured into into saying yes to running for VP. It's something that, parang feeling ko, if you were in our mm. position, there was more pressure to actually say no than to say yes, mm-hmm. especially from the people who are close to us. I think they're also very protective of us. Mm-hmm. So when my mom said yes to this, um, yung pakiramdam naming lahat, buong buo siya sa pag yes. It's something na she decided on her own. It's something that she felt she ought to do. Mm-hmm. And then, I think, ano, I think she would have made my dad proud if he was still here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yung dasal lang namin every day is sana tama yung mga ginagawa namin. <laughs> Siguro, if kung panatag ang loob nyo, that, that's a good sign, di ba? So you're ready for anything. You're ready for defeat. You're ready for victory. Yes. Whatever. Actually, that was one of the first questions I asked my mom. When, mm-hmm. Parang, I think it was a Friday when we all agreed na, oh, sige na, kung tingin mo yung talaga yung gagawin mo, sige, we're with you 100%. So parang the next day, I asked you, if you lose, are you ready to lose? Because, of course, parang all these scenarios now were in my head. Yeah. So, parang so, of course, I'm ready, but you know, we're not, we're not joining this, naman, mm-hmm. to lose. Eh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you very much, Aika Robredo. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Thank you for watching News.ph. See you again next Wednesday. I'm Pia Antudelos. <laughs>